This is worldwide instantaneous communication. We, my, myself, Susan, who was on, online as a person called Kitty Serendipity, a WSU cheerleader. Chris, who's our WSU technologist here, is on as a person named Rev, Rev Rakes. And all three of us are at this conference, which is the very first virtual reality conference on journalism presented you know, by Washington State University. And so in Pullman, 300 miles away from here right now, there's two, three, four hundred people attending all these lectures about what it's like to bring journalism into this modern era. And so the Murrow uh, College of Communication, and if you recall, uh, Murrow was the sort of the founder of broadcast journalism. I'm very proud to have him as part of the university. Bringing in well-known international journalists who are now seeing the handwriting on the wall that going to some form of VR journalism is going to be the next the next evolution. Second Life is a is a really great way to show people what you're talking about. Uh, before, you know, previously when we were trying to express information, we had to uh, write a book and then somebody had to pick that book up and look at the diagrams and read the text about it and try to imagine what you were talking about. Now we have the ability to simulate and really show people what we're talking about. Instead of writing about it or even talking about it on a radio program, we can show them. And it's not just a TV program where you, you see somebody playing around with this thing. You're allowed to go up and play with it too, and maybe even collaborate. You can you can create 3D models. Uh, you can show a, a prospective client if you're in the business end uh, your prototype that you've designed in, in a 3D environment, which you generally do if you're going to produce something. Uh, and then that sparks all kinds of new ideas, and you can collaborate further. And uh, it's just a, a really good way to uh, not only communicate, but to to create. I mean, creating is, is just a couple of clicks away. And you've got shapes that make other shapes that combine and make something really unique. Our little strip of land over there at the Learning Center is definitely the experimental side of WSU, I would say, where we are exploring, We're doing a lot of exploring. Chris created a uh, inflatable video screen like the one they have in Fort Townsend downtown that wheels and jiggles and plays the, the media. It's going to be as common very soon as email and you, it's something you're going to need to know. It's in your hands and uh, what a wonderful world, uh, what a wonderful world we're going to see from it.